All right, so I've wanted to shoot my pear tree again. Now, I had planted this pear tree about four years ago, and as you can see, I didn't prune it back, and so now it's getting quite tall. So at some point, this is going to have to get pruned, and if I'm gonna remain on a property and the house doesn't sell, then I'm going to have to prune this and begin to manicure in such a way that it's not, you know, 30 feet tall like it is now, and I'm going to have a hard time getting to the pears because I want to be able to pick them relatively close to the ground, you know. But what I wanted to show you is it did flower this year, and this is the first year of fruit production, and I am getting some pears coming off it first time. So that's a good thing, in a way, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be around long enough to actually enjoy my own pears, but that's its first year. So that's a good sign that uh, next year is going to be a very productive year for uh, pears. I forgot what variety of pear this is. Here's another one over here. These are going to be nice pears, too. I forgot exactly what variety this is. I don't think I have the tag on it. It's just a regular pear tree, but I don't think it's like a Bartlett or anything like that. You know, it's just normal pear tree. But I could see about a half dozen pears are on it randomly in different places. So, but yeah, if I'm going to have to prune this, I'm going to have to do some drastic cutting and uh, really take it down and bring down some of these branches because they're just they've gone too big I, I don't know why I let it go that long I should have pruned it earlier but it's a very healthy tree and it's grown quite well and next year is really going to put out a lot of pears especially after I prune it this year and I top all of this off and maybe I'll do a video of me actually topping it once the pears once it's done making the pears then and they're ripe and I pick them clean I will prune this in the fall and then next year, if I'm still here, uh, you'll get to see how many pears come out of it. It will produce so many pears, it's ridiculous. But yeah, you have to prune these trees or else it doesn't want to really go into a fruiting stage. It just puts all its energy into stem production and leaf production. So we want to get this now into a fruiting stage. It's, it's the stem, of, the base of it's developed well enough where you want to be generally, I think they recommend like anywhere between two and a half to three inches diameter at the base. If it doesn't fruit by then is when you want to really start pruning it to really get it to produce fruit. So it has a good structure to the plant. You know, it's not going to be weak. And I've had pear trees in the past where they've gotten, you know, they've been around for 20 years or something like, you know, my parent on my parents' property. And we cut that tree almost to the ground, like halfway. There was nothing but the stump. We cut it down, and it threw out new shoots, and all those new shoots grew up. In like two years, those shoots were almost as big as what we cut down. And all those new shoots put out these really huge pears that were really healthy. So sometimes you have to do that. You can pretty much cut this thing all the way to the ground if you want. It'll just put up new shoots, and those new shoots will give you really good and healthy fruit. So... You don't have to be too worried about, you know, how mu how you cut it. You might want to cut it in such a way where it's easy for you to pick the fruit. So, that's it. That's my pear tree. That is what is going on with the pear tree. Yeah, it's got it's got some pears up there up top and whatnot. And uh, they're nice looking. They got nice pink color to them, you know. So, yeah, first year of pears. So, oh well. See you on the next one.